What's going on ladies and gentlemen, mambo vipi mtizamaji wa SNS. Welcome kwenye episode nyingine ya The Deep Talk. Naitwa John Jackson, JJ Nico na Big Dati all the way from Sweden. Mambo vipi Dati? Mambo poa. Mambo vipi John? You had corona. Yeah, man. Ni finally ni kata corona. It's been a, it's been a long time coming. Yaani ni kitu fulani hivi nilikuwa sije kukipata nilikuwa nakisikia so Ani uh, mara kwa kwanza? Hmm? Mara kwa kwanza. Ndio mara ngo kwanza napata kati ya watu ambao watuamini sana kwenye mambo ya kwamba kuna siku naweza ngapata corona. So I was like I don't know if I will get I mean I believe maybe somehow sitapata corona maisha yangu yote lakini it happened uh, last week ni ni jukuta kwamba napata corona and it was it was like uh, a disease ambayo kama watu wengine wanavyosema ni kaugonjwa fulani. Umeisoma <laughs> show. <laughs> ah ni kaugonjwa fulani hivi ambako yani kanaweza kufanya ukatunzika so basically for me was uh, kwa mimi ilikuwa tofauti ni nilikaa ni, nikapumzika and of course most of the time nikaa najisikia uh, wanasema aje najisikia ile fever sikia kwanza nilisikia fever and then nika maswara ya kutokula na vitu kama hivyo lakini it's all good i'm back yeah pole pole how are you doing i'm doing great i'm doing great i feel blessed i feel happy i'm healthy tumafurahi umerudi you came back so <laughs> so I, i like the energy i like the vibe i say um if you're doing great that's nice um when you are uh, kuna ile i'm doing good i'm doing okay and then i'm doing good and then i'm doing great this yeah. one is Yeah so um in the episode nyingine ya the deep talk na leo tutataka tuzungumze kuhusiana na vitu vingi ambavyo uh, uh, vinaendelea katika jamii yetu lakini before we got there nafikiri kuna comment ya mtu ambao ungependa kuisoma hapa right now So we have a comment from Lion Tanzania and asema I suggest to ongele mental health issue one trauma child trauma relationship trauma two depression anxiety stress and worries i really like it kipindi lion tanzania tunakushukuru we love you appreciate it na kusaluti mzee kwa kwa comment yako ni comment fulani nzuri and then of course ameenda paka ametuwekea category of vitu ambavyo anataka to discuss in topic ya mental health for you saluti mzee inaonekana wewe ni mmoja kati ya watu ambao labda na wewe utakuwa unafikiria sana eh deep think ana nini sio mbaya tutaizungumzia topic i think your topic na sisi tulikuwa tuna mpango wa kuizungumzia not this time lakini the next episode lazima tuizungumzie yeah so on the next episode lion tanzania we got you all right yeah. on yeah. this episode john what are we going to talk about on this episode i'm I- Are you excited about it? I'm excited about it because I'm ready for you guys to go out there and like out to end the fight, chase yourself, chase your dreams, become who you are. Tell them John what we're going to talk about. So uh kama ambavyo umezungumzia hapo you talk about the dream so basically leo tunazungumzia kuhusiana na chase your dream. Go nenda kapambane uipate ndoto yako ile. Kile kitu ambacho ulikuwa unakiwaza siku zote ukifanya. It's about time to get up and do it. Mm. So, hello tazungumzia hivyo. Na let's start by talking about what is a dream. Na mtu akikwambia I have a dream. For example, una sikia ile speech ya mda mrefu ya one of the greatest of all time ya Martin Luther anakwambia I have a dream. We kama coach unatobiaje? What what is a dream? Na nini ni ndoto? Ni ndoto ni nini? I don't know. I think dream for me dream is like a vision. Kwangu mimi for me personally dreams zangu always zilikujaga like a vision in my head. Like unajiona sehemu huyu utafika vipi but you see something for you. To me that's a dream. Now put a plan behind it. Now you got really you really got something. Everybody can dream. It's beautiful to dream. It's beautiful to get a vision. Lakini you have to start putting some energy behind it and that's what I want to talk about today. Not just dreaming, not just imagining, but actually doing something or being your dream. So kwa kifupi ni kwamba ndoto ni kitu ambacho wewe unajiona ukikifanya. Yaani ni kitu ambacho binafsi unatamani kukifanya na labda ungetamani kuona ukiwa hapo mm. tuseme 
Uh, watu wengi wanajua ndoto ni nini. Kwa hiyo kwa kudajavua kwa haraka haraka ndoto ndio hivyo. Yaani ni kitu ambacho wewe unatamani kifanya na unajiona wewe ukikiona uki kifanya hicho. Wewe zani nini muhimu when chasing a dream? Unataka ku follow dream yako. Nini muhimu John? Yeah. So I fly in the gum. Lakini kimsiki kuuliza kwa your experience kwa sababu John wewe mwenyewe you are presenter, right? You mm. interview watu kibao, you interviewed big big artists. I mean, mm. na amini kwamba hujafika unapotaka kufika, lakini you are on your journey. You are in it, you know, you're doing it. So kufika kuna watu wengi wangependa kwa ulipo wewe sasa hivi, you know, in your position. So mm. What would you say what was your journey? Nini ilikuwa muhimu kwako in your journey? And if you look back and say, "Hmm, this was important, this was important, this was important." Ilikuwa nini? Actually me sijafanikiwa kihivyo na sijafika kwenye sehemu ambayo nataka kufika lakini at least kwa machache ambayo nimeachieve na mshukuru Mungu. Ah uh, kitu muhimu ni kuhakikisha kwamba what you want to do unakifanya so yani kama ulikuwa na ndoto hii basi unafanya so basically kwa mfano mimi nilikuwa nikikaa home uh, mimi natoka mazingira fulani hivi ambayo tunasoma shule za kayumba maisha fulani hivi ambayo eh unapigwa vumbi kwa kweli sasa <laughs> <laughs> kazi yangu um, hasa nilipoanza kujitambua uh, nikawa na kuna miaka mingapi Sema ile baada ya miaka 15 hivi 16 nikaanza kusikiza radio. Nikaanza kuvutiwa na watu wao tangaza. Nika siku moja nilikuwa na miaka laba 18, 17 hapo nikaanza kusikiliza show kama The Breakfast Club ya kwao jamaa wanaitwa um, kina Charo Men na wengine wengine. Wale Breakfast Club walikuwa na, wako Marekani wanafanya interview na artist ambao ni major artist, A list sasa mimi natamani siku moja kwamba I would like to be a radio host la nitamani siku moja niwe kama hawa watu so the motion ni kwanza kufanya kazi za radio ile njaa na passion ya kusema kwamba natamani kufanya interview za watu na watu kama hawa so ikanifanya ikanisukuma mimi kuanza kufuatia how do i get this artist kwenye kwenye show zangu how how do i do it? Na ulianzaje wa kwanza ulianzaje the first the absolute first So my first interview ilikuwa ni pa interview na Neo Neo alikuja wa Tanzania So we had a like Neo ni msanii mkubwa so how yeah. do you go that that's your first absolute first interview Mimi nilichokifanya nilimfuata Neo kwa sababu alikuwa Tanzania I went to him and I said I want interview Ulimpataje? So I went to him ulimpataje? Tunamfuata nini? Maana na mimi nataka kumfuata na mfuataje na anzaje. <laughs> so uh, what happened ni kwamba Neo alikuwa na show anaifanya Tanzania Mwanza. So ni kabatika kuwa na ile kitu inaitwa all access kwa sababu nilikuwa nafanya kazi za media. So I went to backstage. I don't know kwa sababu nilikuwa nili hang up na Neo the all day before that. So like uh, nilikuwa nafanya kitu kinaitwa top manager wa concert ambao alikuwa anaifanya so most of the time mimi ndo nilikuwa nampa ratiba na, na watu wengine of course lakini like, i was one of the team ambao nilikuwa kwa hiyo ameshaniona so before show jaanza nikaambia bana actually it was after the show nikaambia bana nataka interview na wewe kwa sababu ameshaniona nini akanipa interview Mm. And then from there sasa nikaanza kuitumia ile interview ya niwe it's like a cv thing mm nikatumia ile interview kupata major artists wengine ambao wako na ukano mtu akamwambia you want interview with me anambia yes umeshafanya interview na nani mmm ukimtajia nini of course anasema okay nio i know nio nio ni mtu mtu kwa hiyo mtu ana imagine kwamba platform yako ni kubwa kiasi cha kwamba ilimvutia nio akafanya interview na wewe kwa akaruhusu anaruhusu afanye nao interview so i i did all this stuff na And I was happy kwamba at my ndoto yangu ya kufanya interview na watu wa hey listen to me so what motivated me ilikuwa ni kwamba lazima ni nafuate hawa watu lazima niandike emails lazima niende DM lazima ni pige sim kwa manager zao lazima nifanye hayo watu so it was like that na i guess that inaweza ikawa ni the same motive inaenda inaweza ikaenda kwa mambo mambo mimi kwa kwamba ni lazima niamke nifanye ama mambo so 
That's it about me. How about you? Uwoga uwoga flani hivi. Uwoga of course mara kwanza mimi nampigia lesson wewe kumpigia Fajo uh, kipindi wana nyimbo wao inaitwa All the way up ikiwa hit yani ndo matuzo mabiti manini that song was like a number one in the billboard. Kwa hiyo nampigia anambia anambia hey ile mwana kwanza nianza kutetemeka kwa sababu nilikuwa ni sasa tio time ya interview na dakika ambazo natakiwa nikae naye kwenye hiyo interview. So la la kaza yani lazima nitetemeka of course in the first time and kwa baada naanza aje afu mimi siandikagi maswali so i flow from my head I was like what do i ask this guy. Lakini ndio hivyo kitete kinakuepo in the beginning kwa kitu chochote kile ambacho unakifanya for the first time lazima uwe na kitete. Mm. Kwa mfano unakutana na mtu mkubwa yani for the first time lazima uwe na kitete. So i guess um ni lazima uwe nervous kwa, kwa mara ya kwanza lakini baada ya hapo kuna ubinadamu wa kuzoea mambo kwamba i know how it works yeah. how about you tuambie ah uh, ulezaje kwanza kusoma ukamaliza degree ukamaliza kusoma unaweza na soma how did this happen was it your dream kwanza ilikuwa ni ndoto yako kufika hapo nipo right now au ilikuwaaje na uliweza vipi make sio wote wanaweza kusoma wengine sisi katika masomo tunakuwa <laughs> no respect <laughs> no? masomo ni kazi unjua uh, kusoma ni kazi but mm. nini me enjoy kusoma actually it wasn't my dream kusoma nako kuambia kwanza john what i learned from your story kama mm. nikufunzo it's that you just have to go for it you have to have the guts and like, lazima ni japokuwa una uoga unajua sometimes unaweza kuwa na uoga alafu ukasimama sometimes unapokuwa na ile uoga kuna ile go ama simama just mm. go kwa mm. sometimes unaweza kukutana na mtu just for a few seconds ama a few minutes mm. hamna muda kufikiria so you niende nisiende misha kukutana na watu kibao ambaye at that moment unajiuliza niende nisiende and i naenda every single time naenda na kuna wasanii wengine wanaweza kukupiga na chini mwanzo lakini watakuja kukuzoea baadaye you know you just go and go and go and go and then by the you, you have arrived yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the more you knock the door the, the more you get closer mtu atafungua ni mlango kwa hiyo jinsi ambavyo unabisha wodi mara kwa mara mara kumi mtu anaanza kufungulia mlango lakini unaweza ukamuuzi kwamba da huyu jamaa akapiga mlango amegonga mara 20 ah bwana nifungulie nimsikilize so it's it's like that yeah unaweza kwa una unasema unakuwa mtu ambaye una mchokoza mtu yani kwamba da bana yeye bwana nimsikilize ni niondoe ikero true lakini the more unarudisha ndio unajiwekea nafasi nzuri ya kuendelea kusikilizwa na kwa siku unaweza kufunguliwa mlango at the end of the day history yako ikabadilika so i guess you just have to go and get it i'm not i'm i'm saying this i'm not telling siwaambi tu watu lakini najiambia mimi mwenyewe pia kwa maana katika kila chochote ambacho nakitamani lazima ifikie point ni niende yeah. yeah no it's true it's true all right so i'm going to tell you a little bit about my journey and then i will tell you nimejifunza nini from this journey na nini naweza nikamwambia watu to just go out there and get it mm-hmm. so me mwanzo nilikuwa nataka kufanya mziki like when i was younger i used to want to do music for the longest like mimi nimezaliwa eh Muislam to Kiislam kina familia ya Kiislam alafu unajua tumekuja Ulaya mimi nilikuwa mdogo tu afu mama unajua so Kiislam kwa mama umekuja kufanya muziki au umekuja kusoma mm. you know so it was it was hard in the beginning to navigate like how do i break that independence kama mtoto kisama how do i break out out of that shield in the mm. beginning lakini like, nikaenda Jamaica nikapata ajali nikafanya operation and then nilivokaka na ile like sikuweza kutembea one week and that during that week unajua unaposhindwa kutembea unaposhindwa kufanya kila kitu it's like dunia imesimama tu unaangalia tu dunia you know and then mm-hmm. i realized like no mimi nilikuwa nataka kufanya mziki so siwezi kuachia kitu kin yani siwezi kufanya yani siwezi ku kuachia family or friends or anybody's opinion or thought ama ile fear of naanzaje inakuwaje to stop me So nimekaa tu pale and I just started looking up studios. I looked up like a hundred studios wasanii yani kibao. Nimeanza kupiga simu hivyo hivyo like 
everywhere, nika connected na Tony C. D. Kelly, nika connected na kina Nikki B, nika connected do, nika enda studio Kingston, nika record, ndo ivo njime pata track zangu, John, uh, mm-hmm. kina DJ Tass, kina, yani just different, different stations, Tanzania, mka pata njimbo zangu, and then nika anza kufanya mziki, and then that was what I wanted to do, nilikuwa nika kufanya mziki, in the mm-hmm. beginning and then when i was in the middle of it kunamda wakati ile tumekutana airport mm-hmm. i think ile siku mimi nilikuwa narudi like from that journey because mm-hmm. in the middle of that process things were going really really well you know nilikuwa nimeanza like things are going to flow unajua mwanzo unakuwa kama unakwama 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 una push una push and then unaanza kuona vitu vinakwenda like easy 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 una, unafika So when things started going nikajua kwamba saivi either niweke pesa zangu na energy yangu ku invest kitu ama niache. And I just knew kwamba japokuwa mimi nilikuwa nataka kufanya mziki kuna kitu rohoni na naambia so sijafika bado. Yeah. yeah. Like something wasn't right. Alafu mimi nilikuwa ninakataa kusoma. Kila mtu alikuwa ananiambia soma wewe na akili ya kusoma cuz I used to always have like straight A's and nilikuwa na marks nzuri. Lakini mimi nilikuwa sitaki kusoma. But anyway nimerudi and then all of a sudden siku moja nimeamka kasa nataka kusoma. Mm. Nikataka kusoma psychology and nikataka kusoma like um, personal management kwa hiyo combine personal management and psychology. Nikasoma for three years bado nilikuwa sijui nataka kufanya nini. Bado nilikuwa sijui kama nitakuwa coach. Mm. I just prayed and prayed and prayed. Nilisema nini? I know nataka kusaidia watu. I know kwamba psychology coaching it's my thing i know kwa sababu mimi nasaidia family yangu nasaidia rafiki zangu it's ni, ni my being is the way i am unajua is the way i live my life kwa hiyo nilijua like this is what i should be doing is the easiest thing for me to do lakini sijajua how in what format how nachukua hii kitu ambayo iko ndani yangu na ipeleka kwenye dunia and nilikuwa sitaki kufanya tu mradi nifanye nifanye kitu no nilikuwa nataka kufanya kitu kwa uhakika you know with with time mm. so I don't know kwangu mimi nimejifunza like I prayed I prayed I prayed I prayed and then one day it just clicked and then it will click I just started doing meka energy yangu I swear things have been going so amazing I know I'm at the right path I know I'm doing the right thing So uh niki ikitizama nikiangalia the way ambavyo unatuambia historia yako I see kwamba mahombi ni part ya 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 historia yako kwamba kuna time lazima ulipiga magofu kwa mamba mtu utimizi yako. Um wewe kama coach sasa tunapoeleza. Mahombi spiritual stuff. Is it really working when you hakikisha unaitimiza ndoto yako? Ah uh, yani based on your experience. Mm. Mahombi spiritual stuff does it really work when you kukimbiza ndoto yako? Yeah I believe it works on la tetatizo sisi binadamu sasa tunapenda kuomba alafu hatupendi kusikiliza kwa sababu sisi tunataka kusikia kile ambacho sisi tunataka kusikia you know mm. unajua watu wengi wameshupalia ile mimi nataka kuwa msanii mimi nataka kuwa famous mimi nataka hela mimi nataka pingine Mungu haja kuandikia hicho kitu pingine Mungu amekuandikia wewe uwe eh, manager doctor ama pingine Mungu amekuandikia wewe ukasafishe lakini kusafisha pia unaweza ukafungua company ya kusafisha ikawa company kubwa Tanzania nzima ama dunia nzima ama you don't know what your journey is lakini usishupalie kitu ambaye so chako you know okay. I, I get it na na kuelewa kwa hiyo unaweza kuwa na ndoto yako ya kwamba mimi natamani niwe uh, let's say natamani kuwa uh, uh, let's say natamani kuwa doctor mm lakini the more i push kuifuata ndoto yangu ya udaktari naona kama nashindwa hivi au yale napambana sana i'm struggling lakini kuna kitu kingine ambacho nikikifanya for hobby na pita na teleza yani let's say nataka kucheza eh, for hobby mimi nacheza mpira mm. kwa hiyo yani nikicheza mpira naona kama i'm, I'm winning mm. lakini nikifuata ndoto yangu ya udaktari Mwana kama na feli. Mm. Kwa hiyo unachukumbia ni kwamba mahombi yanasaidia katika kuifuata ndoto yako lakini lazima usikilize na uangalie what are signs around you vitu ambavyo vinakuzunguka. That's what you were say? Kitu gani ambacho ni ni wewe ni bora kwenye Kuna vitu viwili, kuna dream na kuna purpose. Okay. 
umeona eh kuna okay. dream yako unaweza ukaitunga mwenyewe kena akili yako kutokana na umeona nini kena tv ba 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 ba, ba. alafu kuna purpose kuna Mungu amekuandikia like ukifanya hichi kitu you're, you're going to excel you're going to help you're going to change you're going to impact e bane naona naona hapa kuna kuna topic mbili hapo ndio hapo zote major topic unazungumzia ndoto unazungumzia papa yeah da atari kwa hiyo unaweza kuwa una ndoto ya kuwa daktari lakini haujaandikiwa kuwa daktari Mungu atakuwa baye papasi yako wewe ni kuja kuwa eh utufurahishe kwenye muziki wewe mwana purpose i say like this mimi nimekuja kuisikia hii kitu and i don't remember nani exactly i think it was steve harvey lakini sikumbuki nani exactly but i heard you know your purpose ni kitu ambaye unafanya kila siku is something that you do every single day without getting paid you know mm-hmm. like you do it it's in your it's in your habit if it's not every day it's very very often it's mm-hmm. something that you do very very often and you do it easily and it's something that you enjoy doing it comes natural to you sometimes unaweza kwa kitu ambaye it's so easy kama hata wewe mwenyewe unakidharau unaona kama kitu cha kawaida lakini there could be something really inaweza kwa kama wewe unachekesha you know kuna watu wengine wako naturally wako funny lakini hawajijui kwamba wao naturally ukiingia kwenye chumba wewe unachekesha watu wote you know this is your like This is your glitter in life. Iki to make it like kwa Mungu, you know. It's like not everybody anaweza kaingia kwenye chumba aka kufanya watu wakacheka. So you got to look at what makes you unique. What makes you special? Kwa sababu everybody has that thing. Everybody has something and by makes them them. Okay. You know. Oh, that's the thing that's your purpose. Usikimbilie kitu ambaye is not you. Accept yourself, love yourself, embrace yourself. Afundo utakugundua. Who are you and what can you be? Okay. Can I make my purpose be my dream? Yanaweza ngaifanya ah hiyo purpose yangu. Purpose kwa Kiswahili kama nini? Ni wito, ni kitu ambacho umeandikiwa kufanya. Naweza nika sasa ndo nimegundua kwamba purpose yangu mimi niwe mcheza football. Mm um uh, nikaifanya hii kuwa ndoto yangu yani kwamba naweza kafanya purpose yangu kuwa ndoto so sometimes purpose yako na ndoto yako they are intertwined lakini hujui exactly how right mm. Mm. so for example ukiangalia for example Oprah zamani alikuwa anasema yeye alikuwa anataka kuwa uh, actor actor actress alikuwa anataka kufanya kwa acti movie mm. and then mtu akamwambia no this is not we hutaki kuwa actress honey you want to be a star mm. right There's a difference. There's a difference of being an actress and being a star. Oprah is a star. Okay. Lakini she's not acting. Okay. You understand? Lakini yeye alidhani kwamba she had to be acting in order to be a star. Okay. Umeona? Eh? So sometimes okay. you have to ask yourself, is it really mimi kuna kuna sehemu nilijiuliza, okay, is it mziki really that I want? Kwa sababu napenda mziki. Mziki is in my everyday. Wewe ukitaka kujua kama mimi nimeamka skiliza sound like utasikia kuna mziki is playing somewhere you know ndio mimi nimeamka so mm. mziki is in my blood and being charming being charismatic being uh, have a, having a light pia iko kene my being mm. lakini haimaanishi necessarily kwamba lazima ni mwembaji mm. right naweza mm. bado nikawa kitu kingine and still get that same level of balance that i want yeah. mm. yeah? Yaani unaweza kawa kitu kingine na ukapata the same thing that you wanted to get the thing kwamba ile spotlight na mambo mengine unaweza kuyapata kwa design nyingine. Kwa sababu mimi nilijiuliza nilisema okay ningeweza kupata hela zote ambazo ninataka kwenye usanii in another way without marufu would i take it? Mm. And I would. Nilivyojua tu I would nikajua kwamba no the, so I'm not supposed to be a singer. You know if I would trade it for something else this is not my purpose. Kwa hiyo ni swala la um, ni kweli kwamba unaweza ukawa na, na papasi yako lakini ukawa na ndoto yako lakini hivi vitu vyote viwili vikawa vina lengo moja yani kwamba wewe wako labda mmoja uwe mwanasiasa mkubwa tuseme lakini hapa katikati wewe ni daktari kwa hiyo unaweza ukawa daktari ambaye ana muonekano wa kisiasa na mwisho wa siku ajikuta kwamba siku moja hivi vyote viwili viko same moja yani kwamba eh, kama ulikuwa unaitaka 
spotlight ya siasa unaweza kaipata lakini kwenye udaktari na kwa maana Mwangalie Dr. Miami. Mm. Dr. Miami. Mjue <laughs> <Umjie> Dr. Miami. Pam <laughs> lakini pam. Uh, <laughs> eh Dr. Google kisha kibindi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah lakini kiukweli ki, ki I think kwa mfano kuna watu tuzungumzie swala la labda mtu anataka kuwa mwanasiasa au mtu anamtamani kuwa anaongea vitu vya kisiasa for example. Kuna daktari mmoja anaitwa Dr. Uh, Lumumba ni mtu fulani hivi ambaye sio 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 mwanasiasa lakini amekuwa kwenye majukwaa ya kisiasa na wanasiasa wakubwa wanamsikiliza lakini yeye sio mwanasiasa lakini anazungumza siasa so basically unaweza kama ndoto ya kitu fulani lakini usikifanye kile kitu utakifanya kitu kingine lakini ikakupa same platform si ndio Yeah. Mimi na shauri hivi kama mm-hmm. you want to know what's your dream because about wengi wanasema I don't know what my dream is. Sijui. Na unakutana na watu kibaya ambao watu wazima and they say I don't know. I don't know what my dream is. So I say okay if you don't know what your dream is this is what I did. Hata mtu mzima ndoto yake labda mtu anaona umri waenda na nini yana tamani kuwa ndoto yake ni kuhakisha kwamba anapambana analeta chakula mezani, analeta ugali mezani watu familia hii kwa ndoto yake inawezekana kama hiyo ni ndoto yake sawa and that's okay dream however you want to dream kama wewe dream yako inaisha kwamba nataka kuleta chakula nyumbani then it may shape then mungu atakupa hicho hicho unajua kuomba ndio hicho hicho unakipata wewe kama unaomba vitu vikubwa mungu anaanza kuprepare vitu vikubwa uko naomba mimi nataka hichi tu na mungu anakupa hicho hicho bwana nikuulize swali uh, kuna limitation ya age na dream kwamba mi nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa natamani labda niwe Eh, mtu labda mwanasayansi mkubwa tu kwa mfano. Lakini sasa nimefikia I'm 28 naona kama jua inataka kuzama hivi afu sioni hiyo ndo ndani ndoto ikitumia. Kuna uh, nataka nijue tu kwamba kwa mtizamo wako kwamba kuna age fulani ukifika ni lazima ushut down ndoto zako zote ambazo ulikuwa naziota kwa sababu umbli umekutupa mkono, sio? Au ana hakuna hakuna limit ya age na dream lakini kinachotokea ni kwamba age na faith age mm. na hope ndio waga haziendi tunapozidi kuwa the more tunakuwa bitter the more tunakuwa skeptic the more dunia tunaiona the more tunaona ubaya wake na uzuri wake na uchungu wake na ndio maana tunarudi kwa tuna, tuna hinder ourselves lakini mm. dream inabaki pale pale let me tell you the problem john here's the thing one mm. is watu hawajui wanataka kuwa nini I would advise this. First, kama hujui exactly 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 what your dream is, kila siku unavoamka, take a pen and a paper. Mimi nilifanya hichi kitu kwa miezi sita. Straight in for release every single day nikiamka, maandika what do I want to do? Sijasema kama I want to be a coach. Nimeandika hivi, I want to help people get the most peace of mind because I will have I have the most peace of mind. So mm. I want to have the most peace of mind and I want to help people get it. That was my dream. Sikujua how, sikujua how what it, how is it not my problem. Hiyo nimesema Mungu ndo atasort itakuwaaje vipi. Mimi dream yangu ni kama nataka kufanya hichi, nataka kusaidia watu kupata amani kwa sababu mimi niko na amani. That was my dream, simple. Every morning, every night, every morning, every night. Unaanza kuona kabisa kama njia zinaanza kufunguka zenyewe. Unaanza kupata like one thing, one thing, one thing. Ndio nasema unapoomba sikiliza. That's the first thing. The second thing is unapotaka kufanya kitu chochote, shut down your mind. Yaani funga akili na funga masikio kwa maneno ya watu. Because nakwambia kitu, watu ambao wako karibu yako ndio wa kwanza kukuvunja. <laughs> na hawakutakia mabaya, si kama wanakutakia mabaya. Mm. Lakini watu watakuvunja kutokana na yeye mwenyewe yuko na limitation. Mm. Unajua yeye mwenyewe haamini kwamba hichi kitu kinawezekana. Kwa hiyo ni maisha yake. Yeye mwenyewe anakuwa anaweza kuhamini. Yeye mm. anapokuwa haamini, then pia atakwambia wewe because hataki wewe uvunjike moyo. Mm. You understand kwambia unajua yeah. hii kitu haiwezekani kutokana na ichi, 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 ichi. Then na wewe unaanza haiwezekani kutokana na ichi, ichi, mm-hmm. ichi. Ufiki so, wangu. <laughs> kuna story mbili hapo nataka niseme. Kuna uh, msemo mmoja hivi unasema kwamba mara nyingi unakuwa kutokana na I mean 
unakuwa ulivyo sasa hivi mm. somehow kutokana na watu wao kuzunguka mm. yani kama, kama umezungukwa na watu ambao wanaona kitu fulani kiwezekani mara nyingi kuna nguvu ya ziada wao anaweza kukuwekea wewe na wewe kaona kitu akiwezekani yeah ndio on top of your point lakini pia kwa story moja ya shaibu isikia jezi kwa anasema kwamba mjomba wake alimwambia kwamba hautakuja kuuza uh, million records hautakuja kuuza Jay Z yeah uh, even Drake uh, alipata hiyo yeah yeye na kama milioni moja za mziki wake lakini Jay Z akasema kwamba sasa hivi I saw millions of records zaidi ya vile ambavyo nilikuwa nafikiria kwamba yani kwamba I saw million records like a million times no them record million moja kama ni mara milioni moja so um watu wanaokuambia fia zao na JZ alielewa tu akisema kwamba sio swala la kwamba em um, yake kwa mwazia vibaya kama ulivyosema wewe basically ni kwamba mjomba um, wake alikuwa ajioni yeye akiuza hizo records kwa hiyo akaona kama yani ni kitu impossible kwa akamwambia mjomba um, wake akamwambia JZ bana uweze kauza hiki so mara nyingi rejection ambazo unazipata kwa watu ambao wanatuzunguka kuhusiana na ndoto zetu kama ulivyosema wewe ni kuhusia ni kwa sababu wao wajioni wakifanya mambo ambayo wao wanashikisha yeah so lazima uwe na tunnel vision mm. and have unajua ndio hiyo nakuambia episode yetu ya kwanza kujielewa mwenyewe maana mm. unapojielewa mwenyewe unajua kabisa kwa sababu unahisi una relationship wewe mwenyewe na Mungu wewe mwenyewe yani huko ndani kwa hiyo unahisi kabisa hichi kitu natakiwa nifanye. Kuna muda mwingine mimi nilikuwa nataka kuinvest, watu wakaniambia usi invest. Nikaja nika invest anyway na ikani ika benefit. Mm. Lakini ningekuwa ninge sinasikiliza watu sikujisikiliza mwenyewe ninge lose. Na sina mtu kumlaumu kwa soro mimi kwa sababu ni maisha yangu. Mwisho siku lazima wewe mwenyewe wewe unaamua. So nikikuuliza uh, kuhusiana hiyo kitu ambacho tumezungumza hapo ni vizuri kuwashirikisha watu kuhusiana na ndoto ambazo tunaziwaza yani kwamba ndoto ambazo tunaziota yani kwamba dachi wewe ni mwanangu mshikaji wangu na ndoto siku moja labda ya kuwa eh, nataka niwe labda whatever na kuja kwa kodati na kuambia bana dachi nataka kwa niwe waziri bana wa Sweden <laughs> ni muhimu kuwashirikisha watu ambao kuzunguka kuhusu ndoto zako au kutokana na the way unavyowaona kwamba watu watakataa anyway kwa hiyo una, unaacha kuwashirikisha inategemea sasa hapo vitu vingi cha kwanza unawashirikisha wale watu ambao unajua kwa uhakika mm. wanakupenda wanakushimu na wanakutakia mema hiyo mm. ni cha kwanza right mm. Mm. Hii ni step number 1. Kwa sababu sometimes tunawashirikisha watu, mradi tuone rafiki zetu, tunakwenda pamoja, yani subidi niambie tusikie atasemaje. Unajua ile, unapoteza muda wako, unapoteza energy yako. Mshirikishe mtu ambaye unajua kabisa anakushimu, anakupenda na anakutakia mema. Okay. Then cha pili sasa, lazima ujielewe na lazima umuelewe yule mtu. Hata kama unampenda yule mtu, lazima ujue yule mtu na mtu aina gani, ye mwenyewe katika maisha yake amefanya nini na ye mwenyewe katika maisha yake anamtizamo gani. Kwa sababu muda mwingine anaweza kama hivyo anakushauri kitu ambaye ni limitations zake. Mm-hmm. Then we mwenyewe, mi mwenyewe waga kama hivi John tumeanza hichi kipindi mimi natuma kwa family and friends napata mm-hmm. feedback vitu vingine na vichukulia vitu vingine naona you know what <laughs> na acha vina nipita tu you know it's like okay i hear them sometimes unaweza mm-hmm. kwa right sometimes unaweza kwa pewa say right lakini we mwenyewe lazima utumie akili yako to know like ah kwa hivi ah kwa hivi ah kwa hivi without kujisikia vibaya you have to put a, a balance to it does it make sense Makes sense. Kwa hiyo uh, negative energy sio nzuri mara nyingine, uh-huh. sio? Kwamba kuna mtu unajua kabisa this person will always be negative. Nikimwambia uh-huh. kitu chochote huyo mtu lazima atatafuta negative angle, alipige nayo hii kitu. Eh uh-huh. uh, kwa hiyo unasema watch kama hao sometimes ni vizuri ku avoid kwamba each kitu sikwambii lakini nitakwambia kitu kingine. Is that what you're trying to say, right? 
Yeah, like unajua kama hao watu if they always negative fine. Kuna wale watu wengine wanakupa hivi. Mimi na wale watu ambao wananiambia ongea na dati mfanye vizuri. And then baadaye wananiambia you know what? To next time unajua ungefikiria hichi kitu, ungefikiria hichi kitu ingekuwa nzuri zaidi. Ungefikiria hichi kitu. Then mimi mwenyewe naweza nikajiuliza kweli ingekuwa nzuri zaidi ama is a matter of perspective. Pingine wao wanaona ingekuwa nzuri zaidi lakini mimi bado naona hii hi, kitu ni kizuri. Lakini at least unajua kwamba nia yao ni nzuri na wewe. Yaani nia sio mbaya. Nia sio mbaya lakini at the end of the day ni wewe na wewe. You have to know exactly unataka kufanya nini and mm. then you have to have the guts kama tulivyosema don't take no. Nenda 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 and then usisikilize watu. So um let's talk about kwa mfano uh mimi nienda kwenye show ya Diamond. Mm. Ngoja kwenye show ya Diamond ambayo alifanya uh, kwenye tour yake ya Euro. Mm. For decade that yeye kuona msanii kutoka Tanzania ame achieve uh, vitu ambavyo ame achieve. Uh, yes. yes. Yaani wewe umekuepo Ulaya for long time kwa sababu ni kama umekulia huko. Uh, umekulia hapo. Nataka kujua tu kwamba for example, au yeye kuona, kwani ushakuona msanii wa, wa Tanzania ana anafanya tour as many as many countries kama ambavyo amefanya bwana Diamond. Mhm. Na kwa ukubwa huo so kubwa mimi sijui nyinyi mmefanya venue gani lakini kwa venue aliyofanya diamond this time unajua mara kwanza diamond alipokuja mimi ndo nimefungulia show hapa Sweden alikuja mara kwanza like miaka saba iliyofika iliyopita wakati ule mimi nilikuwa nafanya mziki nikafungua show tulikuwa tunafanya venue moja acha na this time alikuja this time imagine imepita how many years Seven years imepita right Mm. Sijawahi kuona msanii amekuja kwa Tanzania amekuja Bunch kwenye hiyo venue tuliyokuwa nayo aliyofanya sasa hivi. Mm. Sijawahi kuona msanii aliyotoa yani Tanzania aliyotoa show kama Diamond ni msanii bwana. Diamond ni entertainer. Okay. Uh, uh, Watengi unajua kwa mfano leo tunazungumza kuhusiana na amka ikimbilia ndoto yako, chess your dream and all this stuff na uh, sisi kama um, part of the show sio kwamba sisi tumeshaamka na tukimbilia ndoto zetu and we are there lakini tunajaribu kujifunza na tunajaribu kufikishana mawazo that's why it's called the deep talk um diamond pindi anaanza mziki wake uh, probably kulikuwa na maneno ya watu kwamba atofikia pale ambapo alipo leo uh, labda ni ngumu ku maintain kwa sababu tumewaona wakija na kuondoka lakini na yeye pia atakuwa hivyo this guy have been there for deka then sije <laughs> kwa muda kidogo yani kwa kumi kuna sana amekuepo pale na maintain level ya uh, muziki wake ni kwamba anajitahidi kwamba anakuwa na hit most of the time na akaachia ngoma yake lazima iwe hit um unahisi kwa mfano leo tunazungumzia ndoto hapo kwa mka na kukimbilia ndoto yako unahisi kwa mfano uh, msanii ambaye yuko Tanzania right now anemtizama labda diamond kama kio Uh, unaisi anatakiwa apitie step zile zile kwa sababu yule ni mtu ambaye labda anamfaya na yeye ana ndoto kama tano anatakiwa apitie ndoto uh, step zile zile kwa ndoto yake au lazima atafute njia zake zingine ili mradi aifikie ndoto yake This is ambaye naweza nikasema about the journey ya usanii ama any type of journey Mm. Tatizo wa watu wengi ambao kwamba hawataki kuanza. Unajua eh? Mtu mm. anataka aanze ndoto afike level 10. Diamond yuko kwenye level 10 sasa hivi. Mm. Asa mtu anapoanza anataka yeye aanze moja kwa moja level 10. Lakini ungeona Diamond na Sibi miaka saba iliyopita venue tuliyokwenda na leo ni tofauti. Ukiangalia music video ya Nasibi ya, ya Diamond ya kwanza, siku ya mm. kwanza kabisa na All these music videos za zamani ukiangalia music video yake leo ni kitu taf- mbili tofauti kabisa. Na mm. tatizo wengi tunataka tuanze level 10 wakati tuko level 1. You okay. have to go through the journey. If you don't enjoy the journey, you cannot get the results. Okay. With that said, I'm with Rudia, you know, if you don't if you enjoy, don't the, journey, enjoy the journey, you mm. cannot get the results. People want the results without going through the journey and without actually enjoying the journey. Kwa hiyo kufupi kwa Kiswahili ni kwamba lazima ufurahie safari kabla hujafikia mafanikio yako. Yaani lazima lazima ufurahie kila hatua kwa safari yako kuifikia ndoto yako. Kama ufurahie safari yako 
hizi hatua za safari yako ni ngumu sana kufika kwenye mwisho ya kutimiza mafikio yako yes so with that said you guys let's go the quote of the day so the quote of the day is most people don't start because they don't want to be seen starting at the bottom don't be most people watu wengi kwa kifupi tu ni kwamba watu wengi hawatakagi kuanza kwa sababu hawataki kuonekana wakianza chini kuanzia mwana kwa hiyo sio watu wengi amka anza everyone has to start somewhere kila mmoja anatakiwa aanze sehemu yani kila mmoja kuna sehemu lazima aanze kwa sababu tunasubiri the perfect time but the perfect time ulipo ndo the perfect time ndo hapo hapo a lot of people start from the bottom and didn't stay there watu wengi wanaanzaga chini na mara nyingi wagawaiki pale and some people did but at least they started na kuna wengine wao wanaishia pale pale chini lakini angalau wameanza unajua sio don't let fear freeze you from growing usiache mimi uoga ukugandishe kuifikua yani ukifanya usikue yani usio muoga kwa sababu hutaki kukua whatever you dream of doing start now chochote ambacho unataka kukifanya una ndoto ya kukifanya anza sasa hivi kwa sababu ndio time yake bana thank you so much everybody kwa kuangalia uh, episode yetu nyingine ya the digital kama tunazungumza vitu vingi ni deep way i hope you enjoyed uh, mazungumzo yetu um until next time i say um that mean ni kuache bana au vipi kabisa drop your comments below tuambie what do you think what do you want to talk about nataka tuongelee nini and we got you on the next episode thank you for watching you already know <laughs>